Welcome to Celebration State, where we help Christian creatives to grow in their creativity and in their love for God as well. Let's carefully remove this tape. I am doing this away from the painting. So you'll see my hands not on top of the tape. It's coming down because I'm pulling away very slowly. I speed the rest of this up, but you want to try to not rip any part of the painting. Tape can actually pull off paint if you're not careful. And it can also pull off part of the paper, which is not good either. Here it's pulling off some of the brown art gum tape and that's no big deal. I'm not worried about that at all. It's really just the paper and the painting. You see there's some part of the paper that just came off on the top and that's gonna be a problem we're gonna have to deal with later. Almost every problem that could have happened with this did happen, except for the actual painting is totally safe. But on this white border, we've got all these different issues popping up and I'm so glad that I get the chance to show you guys how to deal with them. This first one is easy. Some pencil lines from when I was drawing the border of where the painting was gonna go. They didn't quite get covered up with the paint, so I'm gonna carefully come in with the eraser and erase them. Don't be too hard or you will take up the paint with it. Here you can see some blue paint. Now, I probably shouldn't have gone with this method, but just to show you guys, this is that same removal process of a wet paintbrush with firm bristles going in and trying to remove the paintbrush with that and also with blotting with a paper towel. Because this blue is so dark, it was not fully effective, but it definitely subdued it a lot. But I'm gonna show you another technique at the end that's gonna be a little bit more effective. Here, the spots were so much smaller, it worked really easily. In this left corner, for some reason, some of the red pigment dried brown. And so I'm coming in very carefully with feathering careful strokes. I'm taking some of the paint off with the paper towel to make it not quite so dark. It would be better if I started a little bit lighter. All we need to do is just blend here ever so slightly. It's not that dramatic of a problem. You would do the same technique if some of the paper got torn off of the actual painting itself. You would just paint over it very carefully with feathering strokes to try to blend into the surrounding areas because it's not just the area that has the problem that you need to fix, but also blending it into the other areas. Here we are removing this art gum tape. This is one of the hardest parts. Now, if you will see me kind of just struggle with this, basically you just wanna get it started and sometimes it'll just tear off on its own and then you can get the remnants of it off later with this wet sponge trying to activate the gum. It's water activated tape. But just however you can start to peel it off carefully without damaging the painting. Once you get started, typically a whole big chunk of it will come off and that's what you'll see happen here. But for those parts that are left, you are going to wanna get them wet with a clean, damp sponge and then they will begin to lift off and you'll be able to just start getting more and more. I tried using an X-Acto knife or a razor blade and it just ended up damaging the wood beneath it, which is not a big deal because this is just a cheap board from the hardware store, but it's really just fingernails or maybe something that wouldn't quite damage the wood so much, like a butter knife, that could work too. Here I am going through and trying to remove the residue that's left from the art gum tape. Now this is just an unsealed wooden board from the hardware store that I'm not worried about being protected. If the gum stays on there, it's not a big deal. I'm just gonna be putting more gum tape on afterwards anyway. But just for you guys, if you have a sealed wooden surface, I think it's gonna be a lot easier to remove and you can go through with a wood cleaner. Here I am just cutting off where that tape was. It is not worth it for me to try to save the paper there and I allowed for space on the edge. This is that technique I was telling you about. You can use a needle. This is a skewer I'm using, but you're basically going in and lightly, carefully, just scratching off the top layer of paper that the paint is on. And this can be really useful for these edges of your trim if you're trying to save your trim because this can just go through and take it off without the color affecting what's around it by getting those lighter tones surrounding. So here I did tear the paper and there's basically nothing you can do about it except to try to soften the edges of the tear. And you can do this with your fingernail. So I'm just going through and trying to soften it. In photographs, you can't really see it as much, but it is something that a paying client may notice if they're looking carefully. So for me, I decided to just scrap the trim at this point, but I still wanted to show you guys how I did my best 
to try to alleviate each of these problems that cropped up. And I'm actually really glad that all these problems happened because then I got to show you all of these possible solutions that you could use to fix the problem yourself, just like other artists do. Don't forget to sign your artwork, not that it is an original, but it documents when you did it. I also like to put the year when I make paintings because it's like saying, no matter how hard this year was, I took a stand. I brought something beautiful into the world. I brought God glory. So here is the finished painting and we are going to be popping it into the frame that I used originally to draw this border that I painted. And here we go. Watercolor is best behind a glass frame to keep it from getting hurt. Thank you so much for watching this video on how to safely finish your watercolor painting. Stay tuned for the next video in the series where we will be doing another landscape that you can give as a gift to someone for Christmas. When it's finished, I'll put a link to that on the very next screen. Thank you so much for watching. Be so blessed.